Okay, and now we are going to start our experiment. So in this beaker, you can see this white powder and this is zinc oxide. First, we need to pour approximately 50 cm cubed of hydrochloric acid. You will need to warm the hydrochloric acid. Step 1. You are supposed to add excess zinc oxide to your warm acid. As you are adding, you will need to stir. So, you will see a residue of zinc oxide at the bottom of your beaker and you will see a clear solution that is being formed. The clear solution that is formed is zinc chloride solution. Why is there a need to add excess zinc oxide? Reason is because you want to ensure that all the chloric acid has been used up and there is no more chloric acid left in the beaker. So you have already formed your zinc chloride solution, but is this the end of the experiment? No. Remember, you are supposed to prepare a pure and dry sample of zinc chloride. So how are you going to separate the zinc chloride from the excess zinc oxide? We have to filter. So now we will need to filter out zinc chloride solution. Pour your filter paper into a quarter and place it on your filter funnel. Use a clean beaker and pour your mixture through the filter funnel. Once you are done, you will get a solution of zinc chloride. So, how are you going to obtain dry sample of zinc chloride crystals? So, you will need to do crystallization. Next, you will need to pour the solution onto an evaporating dish. And place it over the Bunsen burner. will need to heat the solution until it becomes saturated. Remember, you cannot evaporate the solution to dryness because zinc chloride is able to decompose under strong heat. Heat till the solution becomes saturated and turn off the flame. You are supposed to allow the solution to cool down and crystals will start to appear.